Hi guys, this is Chengu from My Life After Breakfast. It is Wednesday and because of the craziness that's going to be going on this Sunday because I'll be preparing to head for the YouTube Creator Institute, I'm doing the Sunday lunch meeting today. I haven't done it in a couple weeks, but I thought I'd just get on track with that because there's a lot I want to cover. One, back to last week Thursday, did you guys see the finale of The Mentalist? I was like home alone face the entire time. Oh my gosh, don't go in there. No, don't do it. Oh! <gasps> I can't believe that happened! Also, for the people who have been telling me that I should collab with people, I actually tried that this weekend. I went on meetup.com and I tried to find a whole bunch of people and I filmed something while I was there, but I lost it somehow. But basically, um, 20 people said that we're going to show up and we're all going to bring cameras and notebooks and everything and plan a huge collaboration and it was going to be awesome. And out of 20 people, I was the only one who showed up. I'm trying. I really am, and I don't know what's going on in this city. Mm. The YouTube Next Up camp is happening in New York this week, so I'm going to try to go to the meetup to Wednesday night. Also, I did want to say, I've been planning on having a whole bunch of vlogs lately, because there's a whole bunch I want to vlog about, but I really only put up vlogs on Wednesdays and Sundays. So I decided that I will still be putting up videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. But you might get an extra video in the middle of the week, just so you know. I don't know, just check my channel just to see if there's something up. It will should pop up in your subscription box. If not, just give it a look. Because I have, like, a lot I want to vlog about. And then I'm like, I put it on my second channel. And I really don't want to put things over there until I have more of a, you know, like, more of a reason to have a second channel. Like, I don't really have one right now. See you on Sunday, definitely, possibly earlier. Mm. The rapture didn't happen, as we all know, because we are all still here. For those people who don't know what it is, a man named Harold Camping predicted that the rapture would happen on Saturday, May 21st, 2011. The rapture is Jesus coming back, taking all the believers up to heaven. Six o'clock on Saturday was apparently the day. The reason why was because in the Bible it says that a thousand years is as one day to God. So according to some math equation that I can't actually figure out, because it makes no sense. 7,000 years from the day the world began was May 21st. As we all know now, that is not true. But he's now saying that the rapture did happen, but it was invisible. I'm not sure why. But in any case, he's saying that it happened, and now the end of the world is definitely going to be on October 21st, six months later. Why people actually believe this guy, I'm not sure, because the fact of the matter is that he actually believed that the rapture was going to be in 1988 and 1994, and this is his third prediction of the end of the world. Why do people still believe him? I don't think I have a problem with it, except for the fact that people gave away their pensions, people gave him millions of dollars to, like, help with the campaigning, so more people knew. People were in Union Square freaking out about it. People believe that this man is telling the truth. People believe that he knows when the end of the world will happen. This is his third time. You know what I mean? Like in baseball. Like, one, two, three, strike, you're out. Why do people still believe a word he says? He's a very old, very tired man. People just need to walk away from him and say, you know what, dude, I'm sorry, but you don't know what you're talking about. People should not be giving away their life savings, their homes. Today, on May 24th, people, there are people in this world who have absolutely nothing because they gave everything away because they completely believe that they were leaving. That's a horrible thing to do to people. And I don't know if it's because he absolutely believed it or he was just trying to make a whole bunch of money. But either way, it's wrong. The question of the day is, what do you think of this whole Harold Camping thing? Do you think he's just like a sad, tired old man who really honestly thinks that these are the days that this is happening and this is what he's spending his research doing and these are days he absolutely believes in? Or do you think he's just a thief? Because up to right now, he's had millions of dollars put into his bank account over this and the two previous predictions of Rapture. And he's still going because as far as he's concerned, it happened, but the world will end on in October 21st. So for him, he's still collecting money. Do you think he's a thief, or do you honestly think he believes what he says? I don't know. Tell me in the comments below. I don't know if it's real or not. All I know is that I love rapture bombing, and if you've yet to see the pictures, I'm going to play them during the end screen, but I absolutely love them. Tony Hawk made one, um, and a whole, like millions of people have made one. It's like the newest meme. Make one if you want. Take a look. Love you guys. Bye.